Hey, Dr. Colbert here, and there's a lot of fear concerning the Ebola virus, so I'd like to give you some facts so it can relieve your fears. First of all, approximately 21,000 people are presently infected with the Ebola virus, and the CDC predicts that by January of 2015, 1.4 million people will be infected. Now, that's a huge jump in just three months. In fact, that's the entire population of the state of New Hampshire. But let me explain something to you. First of all, this disease is difficult to contract. It's not like measles or mumps or flu epidemics because the Ebola virus is not airborne. You catch it only when the person's exhibiting symptoms. And the symptoms are primarily, it's like a, the worst flu of your life. You get a terrible headache, chills, fever. You also get diarrhea, uncontrollable diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. And then later it goes into, many times we call it, uh, it's, it's a hemorrhagic type of fever where you develop literally bleeding from your eyes, your mucous membranes, your nose, your mouth, the rectum. And then you develop many times a rash all over. But it's only when you're exhibiting these symptoms that the virus, that you're able to spread the virus. And again, the virus can be spread primarily through the blood and through the stool. It's very difficult to catch this virus through the saliva, through the mucus, through the even though it's in the tears and the mucus and the saliva, but it's most greatly uh, concentrated simply in the blood and in the stool. That's why healthcare workers are at such a great risk of developing this because they're caring for the person. They're getting the virus on their, from the stool and from the blood on them, and that's especially if that gets in the mucous membranes, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, that's when you can contract the virus. Now, if a person is symptomatic with Ebola virus and they're perspiring profusely and they're touching a doorknob or a countertop, the virus can live on the surface for a few hours. It is possible, but it's improbable that a person will contract it, but it is possible. That's why if you were to touch that doorknob or that countertop where a person with Ebola touched it and rubbed your mucous membranes in your eyes, your nose, or your mouth, it is possible to catch the Ebola virus. So if you're in a public place, like a ballpark, or a subway, or on a plane, or in a restaurant, simply take precautionary measures. Use either hand sanitizer or wash your hands with antibacterial soap and so that you can kill any virus or bacteria that's on your hands before you touch your mucous membranes. Now there's some simple measures we can do to keep our immune system strong, just some general measures. First, get adequate sleep, which usually means about eight hours sleep a night. Simply eat a healthy diet which means minimize your sugar and highly processed carbohydrates and starches and eat more of a Mediterranean type diet with lots of vegetables, fruits, whole grains. And then, real important, regular exercise. That keeps your immune system charged and get adequate sunshine or take a vitamin D supplement. But equally as important is also stand on God's Word. Psalms 91.10 is a very important scripture. It says that no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. No plague, no plague, no plague of Ebola will come nigh your dwelling. Simply confess God's word every day and believe it and you will be protected, both you and your family, I believe, from the Ebola virus. To receive further updates on the Ebola outbreak and other health-related news, simply go to drcobert.com and subscribe to my weekly newsletter.